Okay, hello again ladies and gents. We're going to be now looking at section 2, which is uh, named WIMP, W-I-M-P. Um, so, in this one, we're going to be talking about what it means. Yeah, what does it stand for? The pros and the cons and so on and so forth. Now, I'd like to believe this is pretty straightforward. The only way you can get it wrong is if you actually don't read it. Ladies and gents, if you are following me, if you are watching through these videos in the lesson, in my lesson right now, please read it. I spent an, an, a lot of time thinking about how I can structure this to make it easier for you. If you leave a question, you lost marks. It's as simple as that. There's nothing here that's extra. Everything here is designed to give you top marks. So, first things first. So, if, you, if you're doing the real thing, you'd put WIMP, and then you're going to discuss what a WIMP is with examples and a screenshot. Now, if you're in my lesson, I will have provided you a folder of GUIs and menus and forms. Now, if you go in here, you should see an example of a WIMP in here, and there it is, 1984 WIMP. And I believe I have another one from Windows as well, if you give me one second. Well, there it is. Okay, so if you are in my class, you can use one of these or both of them. Yeah, if you want higher marks, you can use both of them. And all you're going to do is basically open it up, print screen, and paste it into, excuse me, into your document, whether it's your report or your presentation. So you're going to print screen and paste that in there. And as I said, you do have this one as well. Now this one came a little bit later, I think it was a year after. So the original one here, this is from one of the very first um, Apple Mac computers that they had and you can see it's very very simple. Okay, And it's a WIMP um, because, let me get this right, Windows, Icons, Mouse and Pointer. I believe that's what, uh, what, it, what it stands for. I'll double check it in just a second. And the reason for that is because well, you can see a pointer, you can see a number of windows, menus, and there's a pointer, okay? Uh, you can see icons as well, so you can see that the buttons are slightly different. You've got a logo there, but there's no color, and you can't change anything. It is just as it is. Now, looking at it now with your eyes, you might look at that and say, oh, that looks boring, it's a little confusing, it's a little difficult to understand. But believe it or not, this is one of the first, because this is the first version of this, prior to this computers were actually more difficult to work with you know there was text or command line interfaces if you don't know what that is you should see that on the next page of this I'm going to zoom out a little bit and on this page you'll see text interfaces zoom in and computers are more like this now there are still this this is still being used until this day you know especially if you are in the um, programming industry and you're creating games or software this is still uh, so that's in, something that's important and has a, a, a good use and in fact in, in some cases it's the only way you can do certain things however for the average Joe the person working at home people like you and me as an example uh, it's not useful so th when this came about this was revolutionary this was something that changed the computing world and made the computers more accessible more uh, user-friendly for the normal person the layman layman person and allow people to, you know, have that opportunity really, and then start thinking about actually, you know, this is something we can actually have at home. Maybe I could get a computer and work at home. Before this, computers uh, being at home was a, it was an unheard of thing. A year later, Microsoft brought theirs out, and there was the introduction of color, and it does make a huge difference. Now, some of you might look at that and say, actually, that's probably a bit easier because it's broken down into separate sections. But then others might disagree and say, look, in the colors make a big difference. The you know, the difference in terms of the pixels and resolutions makes a huge difference as well. And, um, you know, the fact that there's a bar at the top similar to Apple's version as well. So it makes it easy to use. So you have to use one or both of these in here. So you put a screenshot and then you talk about the pros and cons. Do you think they work? Do you, What were the pros, as in what was the strengths of it? What were the weaknesses of it? And explain and justify it. Make sure you get the screenshots. So when you once you've got the screenshot, you then talk about the screenshot. So this is just a general discussion of what a WIP is. And remember, guys, because this is a practice, you can go online and get the definition if you want to. And you know it's, it can't be any simpler than actually going here and typing in what is a WIMP. And hopefully it doesn't bring in uh, something that's not relevant to the subject. There we go. And it says it is uh, Windows icons, mice, and pull down menus. Okay, 
pull down menus. I said pointers early on. I do apologize. So pull down menus. So you've got a number of different things. Uh, so a number of different ways to research. You've got the internet while you're practicing. You've got hopefully you've got access to this book as well. Um, going back to this, once you've done the general uh, discussion talking about the WIMP and what were the benefits and again remember you're talking about the benefits compared to this type of user interface because it's hard to talk about the benefits if you don't have something to compare it to um, so for the higher marks you'll say okay no this is what, we, what, what existed before then and bring in some history um, you then once you got the screenshot so you pick one or both of these and after each one, you talk about the screenshot. What do you see? What's good about it? What's bad about it? What do you like? What, you dis what do you dislike? Why do you like whatever you've highlighted? What, what, why, why do you dislike the things that you've highlighted? So you have to break it down for those higher marks. You can see here, it says, identify the different elements you see. What do you see in the image? What do you think they're called? Don't just guess. Check it out. Why do you think it's there? What job does it have? How does it help? If you answer those questions one step at a time, for every single element you find, you will get high marks. So let's do one together as an example. So over here you can see there's a yellow bar at the top that has the file, view, and special. You can say that's a good feature to have because it makes it very easy on the eye. It's a good position because it's at the top, which makes it easier to see. It's one of the first things you see. There's only three items there, which makes it less confusing rather than have 15 or 20. When you click it, a drop down menu comes down, a pull down menu comes down very easily, and you can see which one the cursor is over. I let you guess. Tell me, how do you know which one the cursor is on there, or is on at the moment? Because you can't see the cursor right now. You can't see an arrow. I'd like to believe some of you will have thought of the fact that the 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 all uh, uh, option here is highlighted in blue and the font is turned into a white which is the opposite of the black that is the only one that's different it stands out it makes it very very clear that that's the one that it's on right now and you're going to say this is useful because it makes it easy for the user they know where their cursor is they know what they're about to click on they can see it it's it's obvious if it was still yellow and black it would have been difficult to see what it is that they're hovering over and it and actually say that that it would have been difficult without it. With it, it's made it easier because it's obvious, it's there, it's clear, it's different, it stands out. Uh, you can then also s highlight how, you know, uh, you've got to then ask yourself, okay, why is that blue? I'd like to believe that that blue and that blue and the blue at the top are all the same and that's not, not a coincidence, it's not an accident. They chose that because they wanted uniformity. They wanted something that keeps the same style. What's that known as, boys and girls? I'd like to uh, think that most of you in my class will have thought of house styles and consistency because consistency is key to keeping things professional. If things were all over the place, you would argue that it's not a professional company because it's not been designed as such. So, last one example there. It's now up to you to go through every single thing that you can see. Find different elements. My, my advice, find three to four different features on the screenshot that you've picked and talk about the pros and cons. Talk about what it's there to do. How is it doing it? Is it doing it well? Is it easy? Is it hard? And then why? Why, why, why? After each one, say why. So in this one, you can say there's a few more options. There's a, an Apple icon there. Why is that there? There'll be two reasons for that. Why are these here? Why do you have the titles here at the top for this window and a title here for this window? Why is um, this one black here at the top rather than white? Uh, for the background, why are these buttons down here at the bottoms? How do I know the buttons? It's small things like that. Okay. Hopefully, once you've done that, that should bring you to the end of section two, and you should have at least three or four paragraphs for this section with at least one print screen of an example WIMP.